What is going on everybody? UFA is just around the corner and in honor of that I figured I decided I would go back and review what at least I consider to be the biggest win so far of my FGC career. Before we can jump into me reacting, talking about what I was thinking, a few general backstory ideas, and of course the big question, what the heck was me and Kustix talking about in between the uh, Grand Finals reset, we have to go over first what went on during day one. Day one being a little shaky, having a few close matches on my way to top 24 winner side where I eventually would run into my bracket demon Kane, where I would lose the first game, be forced to make a 1 versus 3 comeback in game 2 in order to survive to game 3, where I proceeded to win that, where you guys would get to see my first ever FGC pop off. And of course, after making a top 8 winner side, at the very end of the stream, a few hours later, we heard a let's just say, interesting proclamation on how I was going to do the next day. Watch it. <sighs> bro, bro, you're not, you're not allowed to be here. Bro, you're not even allowed. Oh. Who he said that? You know Zane gonna get washed? Zane gonna get washed? Yeah, thanks, Obi. Now let's jump into top eight and see exactly how that went. Welcome back in time to November 2022 for you F A, and of course, first match of top eight on winner side, of course, has to be Yasha because, of course, it is king of king of Europe, favorite to win basically everything, favorite to win by basically everyone in top eight. Everyone basically assumed that he would win, except maybe Wade. And and talking to Cert quite a bit um, prior to top eight. We discussed my game plan against them, everything against them, and basically, he liked my, he liked my ideas for it, but I did not think I would a beat him, and b the loser of this match would go and fight um, the winner of Black Shazam and Goichi, and so my big worry was uh, I lose the Yasha and I'm gonna have to fight Goichi. I never fought Goichi. I know he didn't play the game as much anymore, but still not something you ever really want to deal with. But yeah, so this is, but yeah, so this is what, like I said, this is winner's top eight. Winner of this will go on to fight to fight Obi Assassin. And up to this point, I had only ever fought Yasha in any competitive sense twice before. Once during the uh, U.S. versus uh, France. Um, exhibition at Combo Breaker 2022, where I beat him, and at Heat Wave in uh, Winners uh, Semis, I beat him. I beat him 2-0 there too. So I'm actually 2-0 against Yasha at this point. But uh, as you can see, uh, pre meter nerf fusion is uh, kind of showing off a little bit. A lot of damage, a lot of meter gain. I know you were kind of used to that now with a whole Jiren and baby and scared like that. But but back but back here, um, the character is kind of uh, kind of different, to say the least. But we're off to a very rough start, though. Lost the lab code almost immediately. For the most part, I wasn't really feeling all that nervous, although it was a pretty big stage we were playing on, and we were in the crowd. That was basically entirely cheering against me. Why did I mash there? <laughs> oh, and I could have killed. I could have killed. <laughs> I have a bad feeling there's going to be many many times where I'm going to be like, Yep, I could have done this, should have done this, but hey, Beerus Assist always backs me up though, so we are good there to even it up. I don't know why I mashed there. I really don't. There's no reason for it, to put it but it works out. And with Vegito and with Vegito gone, I didn't real. I don't really. I'm not really that much that worried. I say as I get grabbed, because <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to Yasha's team, um, Gogeta, Go, oof. It is rare you see Yasha drop a combo. It is rare you see Yasha drop any combo. Oh, yeah, I remember that was not. Hang on. No. No, there is no there isn't a way to 
to get Blades of Judgment there, because I already used the Smash property. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun game to explain some stuff about about Zamasu during the, during this top eight. I'm sure. But yeah. Anyways, what else? What I was saying was the main thing when it comes to Yasha's team and playing the team I play. The most annoying character to deal with is the Vegito, because 17, 17 doesn't have a ton of options again against against Zamasu except for mash except for uh, except for mashing because that's always an option too, and also against Beerus because uh, right right before um, this tournament um, there was a balance patch that imp that improved um, the uh, frame data of Beerus's two three success his uh, six orb setup. And so this is the first tournament where I started using that as a primary uh, game plan with him. So this is the first time Yas Yasha is seeing this. And as we're seeing, especially since it's 17, he doesn't have a ton of options against it. He can fire a bunch of key blasts, but that's not all that useful. Although Beerus' 2M isn't, uh, <laughs> isn't immune to key blasts yet, so don't worry about that. And of course, you hear uh, acoustics and tyrants on uh, the mic for this match. And uh, there were not many Americans at UFA. Like acoustic, like, like we got acoustics on commentary. My hands are a little shaky there. Um, we and then in the tournament itself, we had myself, we had Punk, and we had what Daniel do in the tournament in term in terms of Dragon Ball Fighters as American players. Both of them doing really well, actually. And Punk, and Punk even eliminating Kasuga, which was a, a shock to us all, which was both really cool. Yeah, game, yeah, game one, yeah, game one going to game one going to me, and I don't really think I was thinking anything, anything at that at that point. I was just like, cool, we got a game. We'll celebrate. We'll uh, we'll start celebrating if I actually win another one. Because the game, because. That should not have worked. <laughs> that should not have worked. I don't know why I decided to challenge there, but sometimes you just sometimes you just gotta prove you just gotta make a point that you're willing to do things, especially against players like especially against players like Yasha who, or players as good as Yasha, it's just I should say, basically players that, in a way, I guess demand respect in a way of putting it. They don't expect you to challenge because they. Because since since they're since they're very good, they know that you know they're very good. They sometimes they don't expect you to challenge in places that normally wouldn't work. So it's not something I recommend doing often. But that being said, every once in a while, challenge challenging people in situations that don't make sense to keep them on their toes can be a very useful tool. It's also one that gets you killed, but 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 we don't talk about those moments because <laughs> they're less they're less interesting to talk about because it's what's expected to happen. <laughs> so do I do I get Zamasu out? Yasha's movement is second to none. It al it always has been. Also, that was a terrible beam. Yeah, Yasha's movement is second is second to none. The second you stop moving for even a second, he is on top of you. So going for that beam was terrible, and me not sparking there was also terrible. I don't know why I didn't. I really don't know why I didn't spark there. When I when you have a character when I have a character lead like that, especially for a team like mine who basically only works really when it's um full, when when the team is up as whole. I have no clue why I didn't spark there. But now the but now we're back to what the, what the normal game plan is, and the normal game plan for for my team is. Is if 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 I am down to Zamasu Beerus, I will never spark for Zamasu. Unless I have a unless I have a lead, 
I will never spark for Zamasu, and I will save it for Beerus. Wow, Kuzix actually talking about my Beerus. That's rare. Ben, no, that's fine. Ben, that's fine here. And uh, ten also. Uh, so one. Th so uh, one thing that one thing that you can always love against against Vegito players. So when when so when Vegito is there in Spark and he has any kind of bar, what Vegito players love to do because it's and it's kind of just what everyone, what a lot of people do. When the opponent is in Spark, everyone loves to either jump back, IED back. Do things like that, pretty much, right? Vegito having the ability to do to do air throws, will Vegito players while on Spark will tend to empty vanish throw or empty vanish jab or do something like that in order to try and catch people back dashing because that's always what people like to do. So instead, what instead what I did, knowing that the, that there's a possibility they might do that, I jumped forward instead because Vegito because because. Because anyone while in Spark will consider doing that, and characters with air throws especially will consider doing that. Oh, I missed the dash. <laughs> so this combo... Shout out to Talios and Adnikai for 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 making it and just are discovering it. I learned this probably I want to say maybe a month or so before this event, but I've never actually tested this Ender before. I figured that the auto combo here would be too much hits done, and testing it afterwards, it was. So what I tried to do here was micro dash forward into 214M because I would need that in order to get the distance. I missed the micro dash, so the 2M or so the 214M didn't get close enough, so the grab missed. Probably what I should have done, having never tested this before, I should have just spent the half a bar since I had the half a bar, <laughs> do ex dive, and that would have worked, and that would have killed. And then I wouldn't have dropped the cool combo the first time I did it on the big stage. Not the first time I did the combo this weekend. I did the combo during an exhibition against Wade, um, two days prior. But that was when. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have dropped it. But Beerus 2M going full screen, so doesn't matter. Does not matter. Like I said, 17 does not have a great time against Beerus. Vegito, on the other hand, is fine because, of course, he's got the blast until I get set up. Once I'm set up, so that key bla that key blast hits into those orbs. As soon as that happens, I am basically big chilling. I know the odds the odds of me going for a timeout is pretty slim, it being 87 seconds left. But um, but Vegito's Banshee Blast, which you'll see in a second, gets block as long as you walk backwards with Beerus, the orbs will the orbs will block them all. So as long as you have the orb set up, he's the one that has to do something. I am almost at full health with Spark. He has no Spark and no health, so it is all on him right now. And I will do nothing about and I will do nothing to fight him. And he just I don't know why he's reflecting because there's no chip kills in this game, so I'm not sure why he was matching reflect. But I took it. We got we got the key blast. Two six pops off. <laughs> and that was my and that was uh, my third win against Yasha, and that moved moved me on to uh, winners finals to uh, go up against Obi. The man who told me, I, or the man who told the stream. <laughs> and so, will it get watched? Let's, let's see. Let's see how that went. And welcome to Winners Finals, where if you, where you guys can hear the crowd, they're all saying, "Let's go, OB." Because again, this tournament is in France. I'm the lone American in top eight, so basically there was next to nobody in the crowd rooting for me. <laughs> there were some, okay, there were some people rooting for me, but. Uh, 
I was definitely the heavy underdog when it comes to uh, when it comes to crowd support. Also, I did not. I, I'm. I was not the one that skipped that. That is all Obi. You cannot blame me for that. I was ready to listen to the monologue, but Obi skipped it. <laughs> but yeah, Obi. Yeah, but now we fight against Obi, and straight up, I don't like fighting hits. <laughs> I got better at it um, at Worlds later later on, or Worlds at the end of the season, since I had both Obi and Wade in my pool. I basically forced myself to learn how to play against against Hit. But at this point in UFA, I did not know what I was doing at all, and fighting against him was horrible. Also, by the way, <laughs> ah, shout outs shout outs to them making uh, Zamasu's two H invulnerable to assist, huh? It was a, it was a, it's a beautiful thing when it works. Of course, it just, of course, it just makes them, it just makes them uh, it just, it just makes them also, uh, spam 2H more, but, uh, we do what we do. Also, a quick comment on, on, uh, what Tyrant's saying here. Um. Yes and yes and no. So I did. I did tell. I did tell him prior to this I was going to use the Masu points against Obi and his lab coat. But the specific reason for that isn't exactly because I prefer Zamasu into lab coats. Neither Zamasu nor lab coats do the best into lab coat. I know it's ironic, lab coat into lab coat, whatever, whatever. But so it's not exactly specifically they're playing lab coat points. I will play this character. I go back and forth. I go back and forth between lab coat points and Zamasu points, depending on the matchup. But when it comes to going up against the lab code specifically, the main reason why I was I would run to run I ran um, Zamasu points against uh, Obi is because if you look at the characters behind if you look at the characters behind lab code right you have hits and you have Android sixteen ne neither of their assists can touch Zamasu basically 16's B assist will go across the ground and be super annoying. And hits and hits a assist, being invincible, and then kicks across, then teleports across the ground and kicks somebody. Neither of them is going to do anything to Zamasu when he's in the air. So basically, so the reason why I picked Zamasu point, especially in this match, especially in this matchup, is a because Zamasu can at least be annoying for Lapko. That part is that part is true, and and if, more he probably is better against Lapko than Lapko herself. But it's primarily because the assists behind Zamasu, or behind Zamasu, the the assists behind the lab coats can't do anything about him. So that's when, so that's so that's why I specifically played Zamasu into this matchup on point, and why it worked at least for at least for the first round, it worked so well. Also, this is my first time ever fighting against Obi. I don't. I'm pretty sure I've never even played a casual against Obi. This is straight up the first time I have ever fought against Obi. Also, mix. Also, shout outs to have shout outs to having normal meter gain. <laughs> shout outs to having normal meter gain. But it's time to bring in Zamasu, and I mean it's Android 16 against the full t against the full team. We're playing. We're playing Zamasu. Time to just, you know, go in the air, and just let sixteen try to do stuff. Doesn't this? Doesn't mean I necessarily follow that game plan every time. All oh, right, <laughs> right. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Obi's pad. Obi's pad disconnected from the PlayStation. For this, um, during the end of this game, when I'm not gonna lie, I panicked when the, when this happened. 
because I am like I'm up three characters the one I got him in the corner I'm literally mid mix to put basically putting him almost in t almost in a guess for guess for game scenario and when and when the when the, that when that pause happened I thought for I thought do not tell me my hitbox disconnected because if my hitbox disconnected and I lost this round I was going to be so upset. But then but then uh, Koga told me uh, just kill him his pad his I uh, just finish him off his pad his pad disconnected. Um and you and you're going to take you're going to take the first you're going to take the first game. So that so I breathed a massive sigh of relief. Um quickly finished off 16. And yep, and then we went back to the character select where Obi is immediately swapping to hit point overlap overlap code points. And this was really smart by Obi. It, it really was. It really was. Lab code does do well on Tsumasu, but he seemed, at least in that first game, pretty uncomfortable in the matchup, where Obi is straight up known for his hits, like like. Like Obi, like Obi and Wade, those two are just straight up known for their hit, for their hits. And that be, that being that being said, though, um, hit doesn't. I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a weird matchup. Hit hit versus uh, Zamasu, because hit does have ways to put Zamasu on the ground using his tides of time. And the big thing, and one of the main reasons why I think this this was a smart decision, if he wasn't comfortable with the lab code lab code setup, was because it's because um, it's because besides like I said, the times of time there, um, hits uh, five U his counter can can rip, can basically in a way nullify um, Zamasu's Zamasu's projectile if if time if you can time if you can time it right. So because of that. Because of that, Demasu's main main annoying gimmick of flying around and tossing and tossing the uh, projectile out doesn't work as well against hits as it does against many many other characters. Minus uh, minus two, by the way. I don't know why I matched that. I'm guessing I thought for some reason that she might have been too high or something. I have no idea. Oh, the drop. Uh, lucky, lucky Zane. Lucky, lucky Zane. <laughs> First the Yasha drop, and then the then the Obi drop. Now, even though I c even though I could bring in Beerus here, bring in the healthier character, I need Lab Coat dead. <laughs> Beerus, Beerus into Lab Coat. Smack, smack. <laughs> Beerus into Lab Coat is such a bad matchup that if Lab Coat and uh, like like in. I was honestly thinking this: if Zamasu and Labcode both die, but in the process of them both dying, I beat or I take out um, Labcode, I am cool with that. <laughs> I will take I will take that. If uh, as long as long as his Labcode dies, I will uh, I will I will leave it to I will leave it to Beerus, and I'll feel confident that I can do it. But Labcode needs to die. And once again, say once again, say hello to uh, say hello to sixteen in a bad matchup, because sixteen's uh, grab doesn't yet go through projectiles. <laughs> so I just get to summon orbs, push orbs, and have a grand old time. I always go low. On, I always go low on that. <laughs> like straight, like straight up, like straight up. Whenever I do this dive. And I do the orb. I almost exclusively go low, <laughs> right there. I, al I almost always go low, and I'm pretty sure Obi knew that and was expecting that, so he did not at all expect me to go to go for the overhead there. And despite the rough starts, that was uh, that puts me up two zero. But since it's winners finals, I do have to win one more, and it's level. It's beer. It's level. I have three bars. It's going to kill. I have to level three. <laughs> That is probably the most consistent thing about me is that if I have three bars, I almost always try to end a match with Beerus level three. Is there a reason for it? Nope. <laughs> but I do it anyways. 
zero deep. Okay, straight back in. No characters to let. Oh, oh yeah, no oh, yeah, and and random random fact for random fact for you. Besides besides looking sw besides looking swag as hell in the or in the orange uh, Uf UFA sweatshirt, the reason why I got that or I, uh, the reason why I besides the fact that you know orange is my favorite color, reason why I got that and was wearing it nonstop pretty much the entire weekend was because I left my sweatshirt on the chair on the chair at my at home. Before before getting on a before going to the airport to fly to France, <laughs> I flew to France in winter <laughs> without a sweatshirt. Yeah, <laughs> not my not my uh, not my best decision. Not my not my best decision there. <laughs> was a really comfortable sweatshirt though, so so it worked, it worked out it worked out okay, but something but. Something funny for you, something random right there for you. Anyways, though, Zamasu's the Zamasu's dying. Got to get the hell out of Dodge, and we love spin, don't we? And here I make such a stupid decision. So, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even sure I knew whether or not this would kill. I I'm pretty sure I thought it did, but I wasn't fully sure. And the stupid thing is, so like I said. I do my absolute best to avoid lab coat versus Beerus, right? I do my absolute best to avoid that. But for some reason, I was so afraid of it, I brought in a below half HP Zamasu with no bar to where it was guaranteed Zamasu would die off any hit. <laughs> I know the matchup is bad. I hate the matchup. But why? Oh god, why did I do that? <laughs> Debuff. Look how little damage that grab did. But how little that grab did, I'm like, okay, we are going to take the throws. And, uh,. I may or may not have taken a few throws. Miss my ID, catch Super and Ashton. There's a throw. There's a throw. Flush. And I and I took no damage at all. I could I could literally still take two I could still take two more throws and still live there. And this was entirely un unintentional. So the 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 guard cancel vanish entirely intentional. He's got no bar. I have I have bar. I am going to guard can I'm going to guard cancel vanish out. Hit him and immediately attack in Beerus. What I was not expecting was I'm going to guard cancel vanish and he's going to miss and I'm going to miss. And I'm like, ooh, look, a punish. Hey, look, a punish. So that was very lucky for me and entirely unintentional. But I very much take it, and <laughs> that works a single time against everyone. You can call this day one mix, and it is, but this works every time against someone the first time, they, the first time I do it to them. And then it never works again. Because <laughs> everyone's too busy staring at the pretty lights around them that nobody pays attention to the fact that Beerus is going to the other side. <laughs> it works a single time, but when it but it works a single time, or when you do it the first time, it works every time. <laughs> and then I was like, fair enough. That part, that, part, that part, I was like, I knew he was going to do it. I just didn't do anything about it because, because uh, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, never mind. I, I was, I was like, I'm pretty sure he's going to do it. I just didn't react to it, to be honest. <laughs> but it's like I'd like to say otherwise. I just didn't react to it. And Zane continues to get lucky because uh, more drops. Beerus should have been dead. I should have been. I should have been stuck with a very low health HP, very low health lab coat, and I should have been in trouble. And instead, I'm wasting so much spark time. He pressed the button. For some reason, again, and now it's done. Sketch for game. 
It's amazing how quickly the game the game can change like that. Obi gets a spin hit, he sparks, Beerus is dead, and I should be in trouble. Instead, he drops the hit. Five seconds later, I land a 2-H. It's a guess for game, I get the hit, and that puts me into Grand Finals. Two fights against, to fight against either um, Goichi, Wade, or Obi. And at this point, I'm like, please let it be Obi again. I just 3-0'd him. Please let it be Obi again, because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to fight against Goichi, because Goichi's Goichi, and I fought a, and I fought a best of, and I fought a first of seven one in match against Wade um, two days prior, and I lost seven four I think it was. So I was hoping it would be Wade, and it was. It was Wade. <laughs> Probably the person I least wanted to meet in Grands was the was the person I had to fight in Grands. Hey, listen, listen to Damascus. If you guys aren't follow, if you guys aren't following Reversal on YouTube and on Twitch, make sure to go, do, make sure to go do that. And while and while you're doing that, also make sure to like and subscribe uh, to to the Zane FTC YouTube channel, because uh, yeah, I want I want I want to try to get to a thousand a thousand subs, and we're almost there. So uh, please and please and thank you. I love you. I love you guys. What I don't love is what I don't love is getting hit by what looks like a thirty frame two M from Hit. <laughs> remember when I remember when I said before that uh, I'm not very good at fighting hits. It showed quite a bit during this Grand Finals. <laughs> yeah, this match... Uh, it was rough, to say the, to say the least. Wade, pl Wade, played, Wade played ridiculous during, the, during this Finals. The previous match... Um, so... The, so if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't watched the losers, the losers finals match between Obi and Wade, I heavily recommend doing it. It was a crazy set. Wade made a one v three comeback against Obi using a debuffed lab coat. It's absolutely crazy. So if you guys haven't watched that. I highly recommend going to go do that. It should be on. It should be on the Reversal YouTube channel. But I definitely recommend checking that out. But shout out to Lab Coat Spin though, getting me happy, getting me a happy birthday, catching him, catching him low, and a match that was looking so bad for me quickly, cha quickly changed because to because a Lab Coat Spin is uh, kind of good. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you've seen Lab Coat use Spin all that often, but uh, it is kind of a good button. People should really use it more often. Um, but yeah, with Wade, yeah, Wade's team, Lab Coat hit the Gen Emba. It is. Rough for my team. Lab code is very good against my team. Wait, wait. Hit is very good against me personally, just because I don't really know how how to play against them very well. And Janemba is also really strong against my team. So it's a very it's a very rough matchup to say the least. But fortunately for me, because again, spin happy birthday. Stomp. Oh no, oh no, level, no level 3 from me. That's rare. But I do manage to take game 1. Where I do, where I do take a breather for myself, get some water. I look out, I look out of the crowd, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's okay, I'm fine. I can't even open my water bottle. Yeah, the entire crowd has been chanting Wade every single time Wade's been on, on the stage. Basically the entire top eight, and I didn't really care that I didn't really care that that much to be honest. Like, like I've, I've had a couple uh, people, like as you heard with the commentary there, as well as a couple people that are like, "Really, you were ta you were taking you took off your headset while everyone's chanting against you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I don't care." <laughs> it's like they can like they can they can cheer for they can cheer for whoever. It doesn't affect me or anything. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I flew to I flew to France. I flew to France. I wasn't expecting to come here and ha and have the entire crowd cheering for me, right? <laughs> I 
But yeah, but yeah, Zamasu in that last match, not great. So, so, me, so remember what I remember what I mentioned earlier about Zamasu versus Lab Coat and why I did against against Obi. But if you look at but if you look at Wade's team, Janemba A assist is the exact opposite of what the, of what was going on with Obi's team. Janemba can and will snipe uh, Zamasu out of the air. And lock him down really easily. So after that, so after that first game, I really wanted to swap. I was, I was, I just I really wanted to. I was considering the idea of swapping to lab code points. And then game two, exact, exact same thing. Zamasu just getting destroyed by the Janemba assist. It's hard. It's hard dealing with lab code, with lab code pressure at any point. And Janemba A assist locking down some monster just made it where I constantly was having to deal with the, with that pressure. And like I said, Wade is, Wade was just playing out of his mind. <laughs> love you, love you, Damascus. Thank you for thank you for shouting down my beers. <laughs> Okay, time for time for the mental break for myself and try, and be like, okay, let's not get perfected. <laughs> sometimes when you, sometimes when you're, sometimes when you're when you're uh, getting when you're getting destroyed by somebody or having a really tough time tough time in a match, having having something in your head to think of instead of how rough it's going can do a lot for you so so of course i'm thinking i can still win this i've made a 1v3 comeback already this weekend don't count it out yet but at the same time i'm just like okay that went a literally as bad as it possibly went and we just and we literally just took a care we literally just took a character for nothing with beerus so sometimes it's just taking the small victories and going with that my question is, will Wade bait Spark? Cause he really liked baiting Spark. He really liked baiting Spark this week. Spark this weekend. Fortunately, I went DP first. Unfortunately, yeah, that, fortunately I got hit. I got hit, but the. Uh, looks like Wade is not sparking. He's just going to level three. Yeah, like I said, this matchup is just rough. And unfortunately, I don't have a, a minus twenty on block level three. What did I try to do there? I think I saw five H. Did I try to two H it? Yeah, I think I tried the I think I tried the two H, but I got five H there. Unfortunate. I don't I don't think it would have worked anyways, but still unfortunate nevertheless. <laughs> yeah. The, just took a deep breath, banged my head on the back of the chair, and was like, damn. See, I don't know why I didn't swap off of Zamasu point here already. Zamasu has done nothing in either of the first two games at this point. So I don't know why I didn't swap already. Because that Janemba assist is just killing me. It's just killing me every time. I throw the slash. Wade fires the beam, so with clash. For those of you guys who don't know, um, when, Z when Zamasu's beam um, projectile clashes with another beam, if enough time hasn't passed for him to have already done his dash, Zamasu cannot dash when the beam clashes. <laughs> dash clash. But yeah, so he cannot dash, basically meaning that he goes back to release days when he has a million recovery and basically doing that is basically guaranteeing that Wade is getting the punish with the Janemba assist and because of how badly Wade is pun is punishing the Zamasu for trying to do anything I really should have already swapped not sure if it was the nerves me overthinking it I'm not sure but I really should have swapped already oh, I got so lucky I got so lucky for not getting punished there Wade was already 
That was interesting, but it gets corner carry, so I guess it makes sense. Ugh. Yeah, I think I think I'm starting to panic at this point. Those last those last two spins are have been pure panic mode. <laughs> Mix. <laughs> that was the first. That was the first time that I had ever seen that before. That was the first time I had ever seen that before. Oh my god! And I didn't spark. Why didn't I? Why didn't I spark? Yeah, this. Uh, this has gone from um, this has gone very quickly from me possibly being able to win to a royal beatdown. I don't know how that clashed. Yeah, and as you saw, Wade once again. Oh no! That was smart. Th I'll, I'll give I'll give myself credit for this. This was smart. I was for sure going to get punished there, but the DP and the DP say. The DP saved it, but unfortunately, he was he, unfortunately he was um, he was still invul invulnerable long enough to not get hit. <laughs> yeah, Wade is just cooking me at this point. Yeah, I don't think, I did some sm I did some smart I did some smart plays some, my, if I do get if I can give myself some credits, but Wade just beat them all. Yeah, at this point, at this point, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like we had a we had I had I had Dan, we had Daniel we had Daniel right here. And Q6 was somewhere around here as well, and I just turned, looked at them, and I just, sh I just shrugged. I was just like, I was like, I don't know, it's not, ex not exactly uh, much I could do there. Wade was just better, straight up there. The plays, the plays he made, the calls he did, I'm just like, damn. <laughs> and I finally, and I finally made the decision. We got. We gotta go. We gotta go. Lab code point. Because we gotta go. Lab code point because Zamasu has not done a single thing the entire set at this point. And if I want to, be, and if I want to, not just lose probably the next four straight, I need to change something. And I keep looking. And I don't know why I keep looking at the crowd. I don't know if I don't know if it's me being me being embarrassed about how bad I'm getting beats. I'm not sure if it, I'm not. I don't know if it's uh, <laughs> if it's me just trying to find some level of assurance from a crowd who uh, people who want me to lose. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I kept looking at the crowd. But uh, but but just from this alone, just from the one hit alone. I already I already knew in my head this was a good idea. Literally, literally, just from this, just from this alone, him him having sparked, me have gotten me have gotten two hits already. This is already a better a better start than any of the first three games so far, and I knew that this was and I knew that this was the way to go. I knew that and I knew that this was the smart decision. Question is, does Wade beat it again? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm so. I was I was so lucky this weekend. Like my lord. I was so lucky this weekend. I was barely off the ground. <laughs> I was barely off the ground still when that grab came out, and I dodged and I dodged it. I was so lucky.
Now, this Oki was the was the wanted has the wanted said written all over it. Okay, so like so like I said before, me and Wade, I was not supposed to fight Wade in the wanted set, but but I end up fighting him in the wanted set. And he like I said, he beat me seven to four. And one thing that I picked up heavily during that during that first to seven was the fact that every time I went for Birasoki, he basically always reflected. Like every time he would always reflect no matter what. And that and that right there was 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 just me just me uh, me just me knowing about just me knowing and basically just taking advantage of knowledge that I picked up from something that shouldn't have even happened, which I was very fortunate for. Cause that, that's so as a spoiler alert, it's not the first it's not the first time it's not the first time that that happened <laughs> where I used where I used that knowledge in the set. And now, the, and now the entire, th now the entire, the entire game is completely different. Now, there is no Janemba anymore. There is, there is only Hit and Lab Coat. They have nothing to. They have no assist to snipe me out of the air. I can now rule. I can now rule the air and control the screen again, like my team is known to do. And that, and that right there alone just, like I said, just changes everything. Double su double supers are nerfed though, right, guys? <laughs> but yeah, as soon as Janemba is gone, the game the game becomes a million times easier. No matter what the no matter what the character list is. So like, even if it was two to two rather than me having the lead, the matchup the matchup if Zamasu is still alive gets so much easier the second Janemba is gone. And right now the plan is do nothing. The plan is just be super annoying. Let the assist do all the work. I'm just going to throw slashes, and I'm just going to let the assist eventually get a hit. As long as the as long as I don't get get near him and I keep throwing assists, one of them will hit at some point, and when one of them hits, it is game over. And that is exactly what happened. And I and a massive sigh of relief from me, and a big gulp of water in return. Acoustics is yelling, and I turn and I turn him like, yep, and I gave him a nod. He was yell, he was yelling from the edge of the stage. So, prior to UFA, I had won one term before, and it was and it was Thunderstruck the month prior, the month prior, and. So the, so I was so I was feeling a little less nervous like I I'm 90 I'm going to say 90 I'm going to say 90% sure if I was, I'm going to say 90% sure if I didn't win Thunderstruck the month prior I would not have won this event because at Thunderstruck I was very nervous in the grand finals like I was like I dropped combos and hits that I never drop that I never drop because I was nervous about the fact this is grand finals, this could be my first win, etc., etc., etc. So at this point, I was I was feeling it. I was definitely feeling it, but I wasn't feeling as nervous as I would have been otherwise. So I definitely owe that first win to Thunderstruck for for carrying me there. That being said, though, uh, Wade clearly isn't feeling very nervous after that game because. Uh, we are back in the same situation I, w I was in the first three games, except this time I don't. Ha except this time I don't have lab coat. It's Amasu versus a full team that in does include Janemba, and I'm like, this is not good. I needed to keep the basically. I don't know. I somehow need to find a way to 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 beat Janemba basically. If I I knew if I could kill Janemba here, I can I can still win this. But Janemba needs to die. If 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 Janemba gets tagged out, it's game over basically. And unfortunately, because of my rule of uh, I never spark for Zamasu, Janemba got out, and now we're back in all hell on earth. <laughs> 
Okay, it's not. Okay, it's not that bad. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just making it sound worse. Oh, and then the, and then the, then the mess up. He wanted to stomp into, he wanted to stomp into assist. Instead, he got tag, and this, and that mistake could have been the turning point of the game that let me bring, that let me come back into the game. Instead, it was me just getting hits and then dying, and then all of a sudden I'm down to solo Beerus versus three. That includes Janemba and lab coats. And yes, I'm against. And yes, I'm against all of friends. And here, and now here's the thing. Wade has baited the spark every time so far. Wade baited the spark every time, and I knew he was going to do it again because that's all he's been doing. That being said. I did not expect that. <laughs> that being said, I did not expect that as the as the bait. And that became a grand finals reset where Wade where Wade gets up and he's like I he's like I need I actually don't know what I actually don't know exactly where he ran out to. He just left. I don't know if you I don't know if he went to use the bathroom. I don't know if he went to get more water. I honestly don't know, but he got up and he was gone. <laughs> and then I immediately pull out my phone, and then and then I immediately then I basically am like the, I, I go to I go to the I go to the uh, to the West Coast Discord to talk to talk with the to talk with uh, some of the West Coast guys about things I could improve on, things I should do, and major shout outs to my boy Jake Ryan, of course. I was basically after after checking the Discord first. Basically, me me and Jake talked talked over message on there. Basically, from the start of from the from the start of the break, basically to the end of it, except for this part right here where Damascus and Tyrant are constantly asking camera please swap because I'm sitting on the edge of the stage talking with acoustics. And if you guys don't, if you guys don't know part of the things that Kusis is talking about, again, check out Reversal, Reversal GG, that, where they have a part, where they have a part of the conversation in there. Kusix was telling, Kusix told me a couple things. He said, he said, you should try Zamasu points. I told him no. <laughs> that is, I did that the first three games and it went horrible. I should not do that. I'm, he's like, fair enough. And then after then after that after that he told he told me because of the way Wade is using Janemba, I should try I should I should do whatever I can to kill Janemba to the point where he said I should snap in Janemba. So those are basically the things that uh, that he was that he told me during during that break. And. Uh, just, and just letting you guys know, I did none of those things. So what I immediately did after sitting down, before before trying to remember, before before remembering, oh yeah, my phone is in my pockets. <laughs> I immediately went back and started messaging Jake again, <laughs> where we where me and Jake started coming up with a game plan. And his advice to me was me playing me playing my normal playstyle, right? Me playing more passive, especially with Zamasu was not working because Wade is just charging forward and running me the hell over. So Jake told me something that told me something told me to do something that basically was the opposite of everything that I started to do and became good at in, in playing Dragon Ball. He told me to he told me to he told me full force straight forward. Until you get a until you get a lead, you are charging him. I want you. He said. He told. He told me. I want you to be the aggressor this time. You're the one who's going to go. You're the one who's going to. Who's going to. Going to be the one attacking. And I don't care where. And he's. And he said, if the is on screen and you get a knockdown, you're doing blades of judgment. I don't care if you have one bar. I don't care if you have five bars. I don't care if you have seven bars. I don't care if you broke the game and you have ten bars. You are. You are spending a bar on Blades of Judgment every time. I don't care who the what character they're playing. What is what's going on? You are doing Blades of Judgment every time. Those are basically the things that J that Jake told me going into this going into the sets. So of course I kept Labco points, 
and as you and as you saw there, immediately the first thing I did was go full charge forward. Basically, every round start before this, I re I jump back to do the normal game plan. Now this time it was round starts. I am jumping forward. I am attacking. Unfortunately, I immediately did an accidental full auto combo, which kind of messed me up. <laughs> But that being said, but that being said, it worked out okay though. And immediately, he said, "If you get hit, do blades of judgment and go in." And that was the plan. And that was the plan. We get we get around we get around Janemba, and it's full charge again. Super dash straight in, knock down, immediate blades of judgment again. We, and I thought I, there I thought Wade there I thought Wade was going to super jump again because that's all he'd been doing. So I wanted to try to, um, so I wanted to try to catch it, but he did, but that was the one time he didn't. So I figure. So. But yeah, this is, but yeah, you can definitely tell I, you can definitely tell I'm doing, I am going full, I'm going full charge now. Screw the pass, screw the pass of shit. We are attacking. But that's not, but that's, unfortunately, wasn't going to make uh, fighting Wade any easier. <laughs> Then once again, Lucky Zane getting Lucky Zane get weighed weighed with the uncharacteristic drop, and Zamasu 2H being Zamasu 2H. And so you guys remember how I said before, Wade really likes to reflect on my wake up. Yeah. <laughs> And I went, and I went for the, and I went for the combo. So I just got used to doing the combo. Like, like, like basically, like once you once you practice something enough, it becomes it becomes normal for you. So going for the com, so going for that combo because I practiced it a bunch. I started using it in all my matches. I'm like I don't use it like I don't use it as much then as I do now like I do that like, like I do that combo all the time now but back then I back then I I did use it in matches so because of that I got the hit and I was like okay I got the hit we are doing it it didn't matter that this is grand finals reset I can I can to get rid of one to get rid of Wade's best character or anything of like that it wasn't anything like that it was just I got the hits I'm doing the combo didn't even think about it. Just got that, and then did the combo. That being said, though, check, th check this out. This was so smart by Wade. So Wade, so Wade, so Wade, you, so Wade sets up the Hellgate, right? He used the Hellgate to pr to protect himself from my assist, and then the super, and then the super dash, so the super dash can go past it. That is like next level thinking right there, and I could not believe it because I because st I started running forward because I saw him super dash, so I thought my assist was going to hit him, and I ran forward to get the combo, but nope. Wade just big brain the the hell out of that and got the hit. It's again some of the things that Wade did during this set is just straight next level. And I don't think I jumped a single. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I am sure. I did not jump a single command grab this entire set. <laughs> Via lab coats, hits, or janembas. I did not. I did not jump a single. I did not some jump a single grab. As you saw, as you saw again, round start ex slash. We are going in. If I have the assist, I am charging in. I will. Put, I will play passive until I have the assist, and then once I have the, and then once I have the assist, I am going in. And now it's a complete accident, and I don't know how I didn't die for it. Assist is up. We are going in. And of course, play the judgment. Every time, like I said, the game plan was set, and we are going. And I'm going to implement it. That there was that was straight up what it was. Jake told me his his ideas. He told me what the game plan should be. I took that game plan, and we ran with it. All the way through this grand final, and now, and now, if you pay, now if you pay, now if you pay attention, my my serious my serious look is back, and all of a sudden Wade is Wade's the one uh, looking a little shaky. It's like it's I don't I don't know what I don't know what the change was here, 
but but you can tell from the, you can tell the difference. Like in the first set, I was the one breathing heavy. I was a, I was the one I was the one leaning back in my chair, looking looking at the crowd, things like that. But after that first after that first game, Wade was suddenly the one looking looking a bit out of it, and I was the and I was the one looking into it. Of course, you wouldn't tell based on uh, how this game is going right now. I tried to mash it. Why did I try to mash it? Uh, 27 frame, 2M, and I die for it. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah, oh, hit. <laughs> Like, like I said, like I said, a few months later, the World Finals came around, and I spent a few nights until like one, two a.m. doing nothing but but practicing again against blocking hits, being able to being able to stand block and then block low on reaction to the two m, and then being able to being able to react to the ex. I don't know. I don't know. So I eventually learned, but I didn't know here. <laughs> Had weighed. <laughs> he is something else. He really is. Uh, and then yeah, and then yeah. Again, if I'd fi I'd feel better with I'd feel better if lab code wasn't a thing <laughs> right here. In the one v three comeback I made a, I made against Kane, um, his lab code his lab code was debuffed. And that and that made me feel a lot better already as is, just because Labco was the biggest threat. Labco is still the biggest threat here, but a she's not debuffed, and b Janemba is a thing, and c hit is a thing. Also, what do you guys think? He's going. To... So 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 guys, type down in the comments below. Do you think he's going to bait the spark here? You know, because he's baited the spark. Like four times in a row already. Do you think he's gonna bait the spark again? Let me know. <laughs> if he'd answered yes, he's gonna bait the spark. You'd be right, cause he never stops. Shout out to the backward. Shout out to Beerus was doing the back the backwards hitting JH but JH but before two XKO was ma is making it popular. Do I suddenly think I'm gonna win this? No, <laughs> but I'm like, hey, wait, I'm like, hey, hits are dead. <laughs> Not basically about it. I was like, hey, hits are dead at least. <laughs> Like I said, you got to, like sometimes you just gotta take the small victories, even when you're even when you're even when you're when you're in trouble and you're about to lose. Sometimes you just gotta take the small victories to avoid getting in your own head. Da, 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 da. Stomp, spark, dr, stomp, one, three, and just like that, we're tied. Now, now for the reaction cams, what we got? Eh, not, eh, not, not, not much from not much from the player cams. The crowd reaction though, the crowd's popping the hell off though, because obviously they're rooting for, they're rooting for Wade here. And then once again, like once again, like like you're saying, we're well go forward, spin, call assist. We're being the aggressors now. That's the that's the change here. I tried to reflect the spin. I tried to reflect after the spin, but uh, no can do. No can do. Unfortunately, timed it too well. Brings in Jan brings in Janemba, and ag and again, I am so happy when this happens, because I because I don't want I don't want to be I don't want to do the I don't want to be the one to force attacks. I'd rather take the Yoki, but Janemba dies. So many things open up for me, and I once again thought he was going to do something, reflect, spark, anything. He did nothing. He got hits, and then unfortunately that got me hits, which unfortunately. Brought in another character and got rid of Janemba. The one time, like, Wade's been baiting Spark every time. The one time I do it, of course it doesn't work, right? <laughs> it's like, the one time I bait the Spark, it doesn't do it. 
I really should. I really should have brought in. I really should have brought in Damasu here. I don't know why I didn't. Ugh. Tag in Zamasu Zane. Oh my God! Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank God he did not have Spark, or else that would have been a very sad Christmas for Zayn. Zayn, get Zamasu in for the love of God, man. Okay, so, okay, Lapko, that's fine too. Okay, so, the, and so, ironically enough, this Hellgate was the worst decision of this entire game. And so, and for those of you guys who don't know how Hellgate works, is the, the Hellgate activates when you press the heavy button. So, I raw tag here, and Wade could not 2H, because if Wade, because when Wade 2H'd, um, the Hellgate went off, because that was because that's what his heavy button was. So Wade actually couldn't 2H the two the, the super or gosh, the raw tag, which actually gave me a safe switch in. And another command grab that I will continue to not jump. And another command grab that I will continue to not jump. <laughs> yeah, screw you, screw you and your screw you and your grabs. We are spinning. <laughs> the... So, have you guys ever just down tapped buttons and gotten resets? Oh my god, lucky lucky Zane strikes again. I'd rather I'd rather be lucky than good anyways. <laughs> I'd rather be lucky than good anyways, right? Screw you and the baits. <laughs> we are going to mash. And if I knew the combos I know now, or if I just waited a fraction of a second longer, like two frames longer, he was dead here. If I if I knew the combos I know now, or if I waited a fraction of a second longer, so he'd be lower to the ground, Hid would have been dead. That being said, though, one thing that I almost never do, and this is the first time I have ever done it in a tournament. Is people re people love to reflect on wake up, right? So blades of judgment, your people will just mass reflect because they don't have because they because they don't want because they don't want to miss the timing and deal with the mix, right? They're just mashing reflect. But if you mash reflect and you and you and you go to the other side, it just becomes forward s. Which is just the key blast, or which is basically just a key blast. Or for Hit's case, his counter. So, for the first time this entire tournament, and for the first time possibly in any major I've gone to, I vanished behind him, knowing that knowing that he's either going to super jump up, or he's going to mash reflect. More than likely, going to mash reflect, and because of that, you saw a Hit go into the counter stance. And he and he eats the blades of judgment, and I could have killed meterless, but it just but as long as he died, that's all that mattered. So I messed up the combo that could have killed, but but having having a trick like that in your back pocket to pull out in a situation like this in grand finals freaking resets, it's a beautiful thing sometimes. It's a beautiful thing sometimes. At this point, at th at this point, I know how to dash through dash, dash through super dashes. I just, I guess, was too, I guess, was too, was too shaky to, too shaky to deal with it. Also, Wade's been doing. Also, Wade's been guard cancel vanishing every time I did ex slash, even did earlier. So, I was ready for it this time. And beer is coming in clutch as always. I am carried, but I am carried by the cats. I've been, I've said it multiple times. Be it, be it when he's on screen or off screen, I am carried by the cats. And now, 
the usual game plan. I am going to I am going to let my assist do everything. And I will do nothing. Until the time comes where I can set up mix or I get the hits, I will do nothing and my assist will do everything. Lame, boring, but effective. I can set up mix. I get the hits. And for some reason, my jab did not come out immediately. And Wade, in all of his infinite wisdom, and the fact that he's done it multiple times this tournament and it's worked multiple times this tournament, he mashed immediately. And so, and for some reason, I just got him for some reason, but my, but my jab not coming out. Wade's jab comes out first. And a guaranteed kill for me on that mix-up is all of a sudden. As all of a sudden, I'm now I'm now in a guess for character, and I thought he was going to go jab grab, and because my reactions have been so bad, I mashed, and I got cooked for mashing. And now I'm in slight panic mode. I will not lie. I am in slight panic mode here, and you can tell I'm in slight panic mode here. Because even though I still have the lead, I still have two characters to one, I immediately jump back and spin. <laughs> and spin forward and call assist. That's how you know I'm in full panic mode. Because even though I'm still in the lead, it's still all on Wade in order, in order for him to make this comeback. Because I'm still in the lead and there's only 8 seconds on the clock. I just decided I'm going in. <laughs> I th like If you're going to do round start 2H or barrier... My IED spin will beat that, so I am just going to spin. <laughs> and thankfully it did not kill me, but that was full panic mode decision making right there. And similar situation there, except that one, uh, that one a bit more uh, thought out, because the, the plan there was spin called Beerus. And I just, and I, and I just cried, I just, I just chuckled afterwards. Like I, like I win. I pull up my, I pull up my water bottle and I'm just I'm just smirking I'm I'm chuckling to myself I'm just like that actually just happened <laughs> I li I literally got the hit and he mashed and I almost lost that the reason I'm able to chuckle on that is because I still won the game but if I lost the game I would not have been laughing but because but because I did but because I did win the game him mashing there him mashing there and winning there just became funny to me it was are you it was like are you freaking kidding me a minute ago, but now it's funny. And there is a massive difference between between that. There's a massive difference between where you're where you're where something is funny, and something ruined this ruined it for you. That there's a big difference between that, and and the dif and the difference was whether or not he made the comeback. And suddenly it hit. And suddenly it hit me. It it didn't hit me before that that I am one game away from winning when it was two two because I was trying to come back from down two one. Now I'm the one up two one, and now all of a sudden it's coming into my head. I am one game away from winning UFA. I am one win away from winning this from winning this massive major, having flown from California to to France to compete. And basically guarantee myself a spot at the World Finals. Going into this game, it just hit me that that was what that 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 was what was going on. And what and what do I do, knowing that knowing that I'm one game away? I pull a Wade, and I bait the spark. I pull a Wade and I bait the spark. I don't know how Wade got that barrier off. <laughs> then he reacts with the debuff. I don't know how in a situation like this he manages to react to the debuff. That is crazy to me. Catch the back dash. And one and one more and one more t one more time for you guys. You can either you can either edit your edit your previous comments or you can comment again. Comment down below. Do you do you guys think he's going to bait the spark? 
Yeah, I didn't even give you time. I didn't even give you time time to do it. Yes, yes, he obviously paid the spark. And <laughs> uh, this still pains me even to this day. Even though I won, this is the worst spark in my entire career. I knew he was going to bait the burst. Bait the burst, bait the spark, bait the whatever. I knew he was going to do it. The crowd knew he was going to do it. The Twitch chat knew he was going to do it. I bet you my parents, who don't even know how the hell this game works, knew he was going to do it. <laughs> and in my head, during this level 3, I said, You are going to do Wake Up 236H. You have both assists up. He is going to bait the spark. You are going to do wake up spin. And if he goes for a grab, you're going to get him. If he does nothing, it's going to be your turn. You are going to do wake up spin, Zane. That's what I told myself when the level three is what the level three is happening. And for some reason, I did not do it. <laughs> and for some reason, I did did not listen to myself. I waited a full like two seconds of him doing nothing, and then I sparked anyways. <laughs> oh. That was the worst spark of my entire career. And if I literally just listened to myself, I would have I would have been fine and not down two characters to one. And like what I said earlier, I am in panic mode right now. All thoughts of all thoughts or all casual thoughts or, or game plans or whatever went out the window the second I got hit by that. Because I did slash EX slash EX slash round start. There is no chill left in my, left in my brain at this point. It is full panic mode, and all I'm saying is I must hit him, and I must hit him now, because if I don't, I am going to lose. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, because I have two full health characters, and I have the meter lead, and I've so I am completely fine. But in my head, I am in pure panic mode. <laughs> And the thing that brings me out of it is Wade doing the one thing he did repeatedly, the, repeatedly this entire tournament, besides bait the spark. He mashed on. He mashed after being hit. He mashed after being hit. The jab hits. I didn't. The jab hits. I was. I was. I was too slow on the button. So Wade mashed. And he ate of and he ate a, a medium starter against Amasu in the corner. There are there there are very, there are a few things that are entirely known in Dragon Ball Fighters. One thing that has been known, even when Zamasu was one of the worst characters in the game, if you get hit by a five M by Zamasu, and you are in the corner, and he has a assist up, you are going to die. And die he did. The very thing that almost cost me the previous game of messing up the confirm and wade mashing is what is what took out Janemba and put me in the lead and suddenly and suddenly got me to calm down and realize you are in the lead back to your game plan now stop some like stop freaking out back to your game plan right now and that's exactly what we did beers came in and we are then we are and we are game plan rolling we go for the IAD we get the hit I know lab coat is left, so we are bringing in Zamasu. This is a terrible combo, but we bring in Zamasu. And now it is two full health characters against a no against a very low health lab coats. I am one hit away from winning from winning UFA. And what do I do? <laughs> I do round start 5M because I'm like, please get hit. I can't take this anymore. Please get hit so I can win. 
I do round start at 5 a.m. just hoping to catch him doing something. I don't know why. And then around, uh, then of course full screen super dash there because again I'm just begging him to get hit. He blocks this cross up and I'm just like, get hit already! Come on! I practically I'm I almost yelled that in my seat playing the game right that I'm um, I almost literally yelled, get hit already! <laughs> And I was not ready for that to be hit at all. <laughs> so twice there I could have won, and twice I was not ready for it. I was not ready for this slash to connect. And I was not ready for him to grab there, because that was guaranteed punish death. But I just waited. But the beer is 50-50. Ends it. And I roar. <laughs> And I can't believe it. <laughs> I have to yell to myself a couple of times to remind, to be like, to be like, yep, that happened. And then I'm just dumbfounded. <laughs> and I can't, and I, again, I can't believe it. And major, major, major shoutouts to Wade again, because he. He played out of his mind during the, during this tournament. To even make it to finals, let alone let alone the final, let alone the finals itself. And he's proceeded on to win a couple tournaments. He's made the grand finals of the last two world world finals. Wait is something. Wait is something else, and I will be and I'll be terrified to fight him and fight him in a couple weeks at at UFA. But I can, and I cannot, cannot wait to, go, cannot wait to go. I'm nervous to go. I'll be going for Grand Blue Rising, and I'll be going for Dragon Ball, trying to, trying to earn spots for the World Tours for both. Fingers crossed they go well. Wish me, wish me luck. And and one last, and one last thing I guess. Kusix is screaming at me, and I'm in tears, laughing at something right now. And and and. <laughs> And what I'm and what I'm laughing at has nothing to do with acoustics. Um, so you'll see. So you'll see. You'll see Daniel. You see Daniel right by, right behind acoustics, right? Daniel is banging on a drum, and the reason why that's so funny. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, is the fact is the fact that there's a guy just walking around, just walking around with the drum. Why I don't know, but he was just but he was just walking around, walk, just walking around with the with the drum. I don't remember if if he was there for the walk up. Does not appear so. So I guess I didn't. I guess I, I guess I found the, found this for nothing. But we can enjoy the Wade walk out anyways. But yeah, so there was a yeah, so there's a guy just walking around with the drum. So I guess after I won, Daniel stole the drum from him or took the drum from him, and was using the and was using that and, and was and was just banging on the banging on that while looking around at everyone saying, "Yep, USA got it." And yeah, so, and yeah, that was that was uh, that was my that is to this to this point in my FTC career, my my biggest my biggest win. And I and I'm just and I was just so happy. Anyways, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed this little run back down memory lane though. Of my biggest win of my fighting career so far. Let me know if you guys have any other matches you guys want me to review. Give you guys a little behind the scenes of what's going on. What are my thoughts on things and things like that. Until then though, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.